Shalom everyone, this is Ty Green. The question of what came first, the chicken or the egg, has been heard before. But did you know that the word of God answers this question? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Let's focus in on the reproof of scripture as this word points to the evidence found within scripture that ultimately leads to a conviction that the word of God is true indeed. The word reproof, Strong's Concordance number G1650 means proof conviction, evidence, reproof. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? Firstly, it must be clear that it's the egg relative to the chicken. This is not about the domestication of the chicken, but of creation itself. Was there an egg first or was there, in this case, the proverbial chicken? The meaning of the question seems to have changed over the years, but right now, let's get into scripture. We find the answer to this question within the sequential order in which God created man and the plants and the animals. In the life cycle of the proverbial chicken, a chicken is further along in the growth stage than an egg, right? Scripture shows the pattern that the more mature stage of growth was created first, followed by the offspring. The chicken came first. Overall, it's the created life form first, then the seed thereof. Look at this pattern in Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. See, herb first, then the seed is yielded. Again, a fruit tree further along in the growth cycle first, then the fruit which bears the seed. We see this pattern again more clearly with the life created in the waters. Genesis chapter one, let's pick it up at verse 21. And God created great whales and every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. God created the whales and the winged fowl of the air, then their seed, their fruit, their offspring. Look at what happens next in verse 22. And God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply in the earth. See that? A chicken is a fowl, hence the proverbial chicken came before the egg. It can be argued how far down did the chicken actually come up on the scene, but this isn't about that. This is about life itself. One last example, with Adam and Eve being created first, then the offspring through the direction to be fruitful and multiply. Genesis 1. Verse 27, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. 
See that? A created being first, then offspring. So now, through scripture, we know that the proverbial chicken came first. And not only that, we've also learned that God uses patterns. He sets patterns. And he has a set order to everything. And there you have it. One of the most puzzling questions ever has been simplified through the word of God embedded within the documentation of creation upon the earth. And all of this creation, every bit of it, points to Jesus Christ. We see this right here in Colossians chapter 1. Let's pick it up at verse 15, talking about Jesus Christ, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him and he is before all things and by him all things consist and he is the head of the body the church who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead that in all things he might have the preeminence for it pleased the father that in him should all fullness dwell and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven what an awesome god we serve i hope that this brief study encourages you in the lord in some way all right Till we meet again, live holy before the Lord. Love y'all. Shalom.